relieved residents in Dinso, one of the two towns in these southern regions recently liberated from Al Shabaab. This woman is overwhelmed and recounts the ordeal of life under the Al Qaeda linked group. They've oppressed us. We lived in constant fear. They beat up my son for smoking tobacco. I begged for money to release him. We didn't have any freedom. Al Shabaab may have gone, but the terror lingers. The group has issued death threats to those who defied its demands that they leave the town too. They said we had gone back to the infidels. We said we only went back to our homes. They said, we know you, where you live, and we have your phone number. We will come for you. Amisom is seeking to push Al-Shabaab from other major strongholds in the south. Residents here, though one, the group still has a strong grip on the region. We are happy that these soldiers are here with us. We pray for sustained peace. But while we thank the troops, we ask for more soldiers. Al-Shabaab still controls all the villages. The group has in the past cut off roads into the towns it's lost, a strategy designed to overstretch Amisom and Somali forces. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.